The way that we book travel today, especially flights, is about to change radically with Capital One's brand new booking portal coming very soon, and we're going to cover all of the juicy details, because they look to be incredible. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also, check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Matt's Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card-linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. A lot of the major banks have their own booking portals for travel when you log into your online account and go to the rewards section of your portal. You can book flights, hotels, rental cars, activities, and more through these types of portals. Sometimes they can be a little slow or cumbersome to use, and other times you might actually not get the best price because sometimes those portal prices can be elevated compared to booking direct or through other sources. And I don't know about you, but in general, I don't really like cumbersome or slow websites, and I also don't like paying more than I should. I also am not the biggest fan of portals myself whenever I book travel because I don't like dealing with a third party when plans change. For example, if I have to change routing, change hotels, or cancel a trip altogether, I just prefer dealing directly with the travel companies, but that is my preference. But Capital One wants to take all of that mess and push it aside and give people access to not only the best prices all the time with guarantees built in, but also make for a very straightforward, simple to use portal with a ton of great insurance protections, price protections, and more to make your next travel booking experience way better than the competition. So having said that, welcome to the future of booking travel brought to you by Capital One. Now let's dive into the details to see what Capital One has to offer. Okay, let's dive into the CNBC article, which is titled, Capital One's new travel portal includes cancel for any reason coverage and price protection tools. This was written by Brett Holtzhauer. So Mr. Brett, thank you very much for keeping us all informed. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down now to the first paragraph of the article which says Capital One unveiled the details of their brand new travel booking portal. It's called Capital One Travel. It's a unique platform to book travel using your Capital One credit card, whether you are booking with miles or cash. And I gotta say right off the bat, that is awesome. So all the benefits we're about to discuss should still apply whether you're doing an award booking with your miles or a cash booking for revenue types of uh, trips. This news also comes as the bank recently announced upgraded travel benefits, including new transfer partners for Capital One Miles and opening three Capital One airport lounges. Those are not yet open as of the making of this video, but they are coming soon. Now Capital One is delivering an all-in-one travel portal where consumers can book flights, hotels, and car rentals, and also access several exciting features to save money on travel and make booking a hassle-free experience. Okay, now scrolling down here to the new features section, let's stop right here. However, this portal is still in beta as I make this video in early September 2021 and is not yet accessible to Capital One cardholders. The live version will be rolling out basically to anybody who has the Venture card, the Venture One card, uh, the Capital One Spark Miles, uh, or the Spark Miles Select, or even the Capital One Walmart Rewards card, any of those will be eligible in the coming weeks. And then we get into the good stuff. The portal will include these features when it first launches. Price prediction technology. Earlier this year, Capital One announced a partnership with Hopper, a tech company with airfare price prediction technology. Using historical data, this tool will predict when flights are at their highest or lowest price. This can help inform the timing of when you should purchase a flight if you want to get it for the best price. Now I'll scroll down a bit further here, and this is kind of a low resolution graphic unfortunately, so I'll do my best to zoom in a bit here. Uh, it will be a bit blurry, so forgive that. This is kind of what the new portal inside of Capital One will look like. So um, here's like your um, suggestion of when it's tracking flights that you want to book along a given route. So for example, it might say something like, this is a great deal. You will likely pay more if you wait. If the price drops, you'll get back up to $50 of the difference with free price drop protection. 
So it shows the uh, current lowest uh, price there in cash. So this sample was $315 or three, uh, 31,500 miles. You can then book it with either miles or cash. Then it shows you this gradient scale of the best price, good price, fair price, or weight because clearly the price is still a very elevated and therefore a bad price. Then hopping over to the right-hand section over here, if you're not yet ready to book, there's also going to be a price watch feature. So if you're not ready to book, you can watch the trip for deals as they come. So you simply click on a button to watch that trip, and then it will give you notifications uh, in terms of when you should book based on what type of price it is on all that um, historical data. Then you can see here on the bottom left, forecasted highest price. So whatever um, route this was searched for, uh, it was $524 at the uh, highest point per traveler. It, the current lowest price is $315. So then it shows you another timeline of booking strategies. And then at the very end is your actual departure date. So the recommendations you might see on your type of trip whenever you're searching for it will look something like this until a specific date, or in this case for the example, October 12th, prices will vary over the next four days, but you could save $84 or more by waiting. Okay, so you wait a bit longer, then between October 30th and November 7th, prices will rise about $30 after October 30th. And then lastly, November 7th to November 17th, prices are expected to climb at least $150 after November 7th. So this layout and dashboard is uh, obviously very, very good. I love the color coding, how simple it is to follow, going from one section to another. And then of course you'll get notifications most likely in terms of when you should book within a very narrow range to lock in that best price. And then this is, uh, right here is also very cool. The Capital One Travel Portal Price Prediction Technology estimates to have 95% accuracy, giving consumers a great confidence to know when to purchase a flight. Let's keep on scrolling down a bit further here for the main benefits that you'll be receiving through Capital One's portal. Feature number one, price drop protection. If a flight price is found lower than the one you paid, Capital One will offer a refund for the difference. This can be a huge money saver for consumers who regularly travel, and the best part is that it's automatically refunded. That is something I love right there because it does not require any legwork on my part to go in and manually check or refresh the page every day or hour. It does all the work for me. Feature number two, price match guarantee. If you find a better price for a flight, hotel, or rental car on another site within 24 hours of booking, Capital One Travel will refund the difference. So both of these first two bullet points are the features that will for sure be launching with the first stage of the portal. And then later this year, uh, Capital One will add these benefits to its travel portal. So we got a couple more down here. The first one is going to be integrated travel insurance to cancel for any reason. For a small fee, consumers can book their travel with a cancel for any reason clause. This is typically a premium if you are to purchase a traditional travel insurance policy, for example, by a third party to protect your trip. Uh, but here you can cancel a flight for any reason 24 hours before departure and get 80% of your ticket cost back. And again, this is not due to, you know, um, the event you're going to go see being canceled or some weather thing or you get massively sick. It doesn't have to be a specific covered reason. It is literally for any reason whatsoever. Maybe you just don't feel like going on the trip anymore. And if you decide to cancel because you don't feel like it, then hey, 80% of that ticket cost is right back in your pocket just because your mood changed. And the fourth feature that will also be added to the portal is freeze your price. If you find a price you like, but aren't fully ready to book, you will have the option to freeze the price and complete the purchase at a later time. Capital One will cover the difference if the price is higher than when you first instituted the freeze. If the price has dropped, you will be able to purchase it at a lower price. There will be a small fee for this feature. Then there's some more stuff to read here about sustainable travel if you'd like to read that as well. Some partnership with the World Wildlife Fund and Eden Reforestation. Uh, some more stuff about transfer bonuses, which Capital One added previously. So I'll put a link to this article uh, below in the description in case you want to go read uh, some of the other parts toward the end of this article. Now switching over to my other tab, the Points Guy also did a great write-up about um, this whole Capital One travel portal, and they mentioned something that uh, CNBC did not cover in their post. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, and it is right here. If you're a venture, 
Venture One, or Spark Miles card holder, you'll also earn five Capital One miles per dollar on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel. Of course, you'll also have the option to redeem your stash of miles for bookings made through it at the rate of one cent each instead. So if you're going to do a revenue booking, meaning you're paying cash uh, and you're going to purchase a rental car or a hotel through Capital One uh, Travel, make sure that you use one of those three cards through the portal to earn five miles per dollar, which is basically the equivalent of 5% cash back. Or if you already have miles you want to redeem to either reduce your out-of-pocket costs or eliminate it altogether, again, those can be redeemed at one cent each for those hotels or rental car purchases. So if you'd like to start using the Capital one portal to really maximize all of these new benefits that are forthcoming very soon here. Uh, this is a great incentive and reason to get one of these Capital One credit cards for all your cash bookings through the portal to really maximize the return you get on all of those expenses. And one more thing the TPG article mentions is that Capital One will be implementing a greater uh, volume of staff members for customer support. Here's what it says here. One of the biggest drawbacks of booking through an online agency rather than direct through an airline is that you may experience difficulty changing your plans or getting a refund for a canceled flight. For instance, we witnessed customer service meltdowns at all the major OTAs or online travel agencies at the start of the pandemic. Recognizing all of these pain points, Capital One states, knowing that the travel industry as a whole is continuing to see a surge in demand, we are significantly increasing hiring and staffing for call centers, adding travel agents with a goal to reduce call wait times to help customers make adjustments to travel plans when they need to. And then skipping down to the last paragraph at the bottom, it says, Capital One is looking at other ways to improve the customer service experience and empower their cardholders to change their plans, including self-service tools that customers can use to change or cancel trips online rather than waiting on hold for a customer service representative. Gotta say, that stuff looks pretty darn awesome. I'm not really much of a portal booking guy myself, especially not with hotels, because a lot of those hotel companies uh, require you to sacrifice things like earning hotel points, earning elite night credits, getting your status recognized, etc. Some chains will allow you to have those benefits uh, recognized, but many do not when you book through a third party. But with airlines specifically, if you book through a third party like Expedia or Priceline, whatever it is, you typically do get your um, qualifying miles, your qualifying spend, etc. when you put your loyalty number on the reservation. So when it comes to flights, at least there's a good chance I might change my behavior when I book uh, flights going forward if all of these new features from Capital One are implemented correctly. Again, I've been a user of Hopper for a number of years. The app's on my phone right now as I make this video. It's been a great tool to monitor for all those price fluctuations over time. And I think leveraging that platform that Hopper's built out with Capital One's portal and then all the additional insurance coverages and protections all under one roof is going to be a very, very valuable asset when it comes to booking travel going forward. With all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also, check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. I thank you all for tuning into today's video. I hope it brought you some great value and some excitement for what is to come. I'll see you again in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great.